In a breaking news, China has started mass producing an AI ternary chip and this I believe a very very significant development in the semiconductor industry that could reshape the global AI chip landscape. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, not only I am going to tell you all the technical details about this new chip but also I am going to discuss this new development from various practical angles. So the thing is that China has begun mass production of the world's first non-binary AI chip marking a potential turning point in computing technology and challenging established market dynamics. If you have been following my channel, you might know that I have covered a lot of ternary LLMs in the past. When we say ternary LLM, it means that it is a 1.58 bit large language model, which is a version of transformer model with weights using only three values, minus one, zero and plus one. This allows this model to replace costly multiplication with addition and reduce the memory storage or in very very simple high level words but it means that you can run large models on your CPU or on commodity GPU hardware. Now coming back to this new development, China's new AI chip really represents a fundamental departure from traditional binary computing. Instead of operating solely on ones and zeros, this chip utilizes a ternary logic system that incorporates a third computational state. This innovation developed by Professor Li Hong team at Beijing University introduces what they call the hybrid stochastic number system. If you look at this table, this gives you a full picture of the technical details of this chip. The chip combines binary logic with probability based computing, creating a hybrid approach that addresses two critical challenges in modern computing, the power wall and the architecture wall. The power wall refers to the excessive energy consumption of binary systems, while the architecture wall describes the difficulty of integrating non-silicon technologies with existing CMOS based system. This development could significantly impact NVIDIA's dominant in the AI chip market through several mechanisms in my humble opinion. So first and foremost, I guess this ternary, ternary logic system offers a fundamentally different approach to AI processing that doesn't rely on the same architectural principles as NVIDIA's GPUs. This creates an independent technological pathway that bypasses traditional GPU based AI acceleration. By utilizing 28 nm and 110 nm processes, China can produce these chips using existing domestic fabrication capabilities without requiring the most advanced nodes that are subject to export restrictions. This manufacturing independence reduces reliance on cutting edge facilities dominated by TSMC and Samsung and that is a big big thing. Now as I said this hybrid stochastic approach promises superior power efficiency compared to traditional binary systems. In data center environments where power consumption is a major operational cost, this efficiency could provide a compelling alternative to NVIDIA's offering. The simple design and use of mature proce processes could enable more cost-effective production, potentially offering competitive pricing against high-end accelerators. The chip's design optimize, you know, I think it is an optimization for specific use cases like flight control and industrial automation that could really capture market segments where specialized performance matters more than general purpose computing power. China's progress in domestic EUV lithographic technology adds another dimension to this story. The development of laser-induced discharge plasma EUV systems expected to enter the trial production in quarter 3 of 2025 and that could provide manufacturing capabilities for more advanced chip design. This approach differs from ASML's laser-produced plasma method by using simpler 
more powerful efficient design the combination of alternative chip architecture and independent manufacturing capabilities could create a complete ecosystem that operates outside the current semiconductor supply chain dominated by western technology at the moment there are lot and lot of market implementations and implications the success of this ternary logic chip could really really encourage broader adoption of non binary computing approaches that diversifies the ai hardware landscape beyond gpu centric solution and that is a big big thing now let's talk bit about the challenges it might face because it is promising but still i believe ternary computing faces several challenges software ecosystems are built around binary logic that requires significant adaptation for ternary system the current implementations are focused on specific applications rather than general purpose ai workloads that dominate the market performance scaling for large language models and other compute intensive ai applications remains to be shown and the chips effectiveness in computing with high end ai accelerators for training massive neural network is still unclear but the information which i have could gather from various uh, sources after i translated few of the chinese universities and websites into english it suggests that potential application in edge computing autonomous systems and specialized ai workloads where power efficiency and fault tolerance are the priorities and the success of this technology could really really encourage other nations and companies to explore alternative computing paradigms which is quite i would say be telling if china succeeds in scaling this technology and developing supporting software ecosystem it could really establish a parallel computing standard that operates independently of current western dominated architectures coming back to this technical capabilities if you look at all of these features they actually seem quite interesting so for instance um the first one where we are checking this stochastic uh, number it what primarily it is doing it is combining traditional binary computing with probability based calculations that allows the chip to process information using three states as i mentioned then we have this um manufacturing process which uses established 110 nm and 28 nm fabrication but what where i really want to talk about is this fault tolerance it has got built in resistance to electrical interference and computational errors making it more reliable in harsh environments like um not that much high quality data centers and industrial settings plus it has also got multiple specialized computing units integrated on a single chip chip that enables parallel processing also i am quite impressed by the microsecond latency because i think this is one area a lot of other providers struggle so look i think china's mass production of ternary ai chip really represents more than just a technological achievement it demonstrates a strategic approach to develop independent semiconductor capabilities that could reshape competitive dynamics in the ai chip market let me know what do you think before i let you go let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. Also, I want to uh, towards and want to highlight that these chips and stuff we still don't know the pricing. We still don't know the exact date, but it is it is being said that within couple of months or in maybe in a month time they will start. uh shipping at least within china um and then maybe across the globe because once these things are out they just spread like a wildfire if you like the video please like it share it and if you haven't already subscribed please do so as it helps a lot thank you for watching